Hi there. In this video we will be assembling, presumably assembling, this Hamarn extendable couch from IKEA. It should look like this when it's done, but something makes me think that it's almost uh, assembled by itself. Opened up the package, which was extremely slim, unexpectedly slim. This is what we have inside. Let's see. Yes, they tell you to assemble it, so we will be doing some assembling. Don't do it directly on the floors, you can damage them. Uh, this is what you get for the assembly itself. It seems you need two persons to do it. Eh, we'll see about that. And yep, as always, we are doing some assembly. So let's uh, get everything out. I'm going to be assembling on the package itself. So I'm pulling this so that stays flat and I can assemble, uh, assemble on it. And uh, yeah, let's do what it tells us in step one next, daughter in the background. And this is what we seem to have inside. That's uh, what you directly stay on. Not extremely stiff, so could be comfortable. And this is uh, the layer underneath. This is uh, providing the full support. Basically, this is holding your weight. This is just uh, a cushion. And it seems to be some kind of nylon or something like that, a, a fabric, but it seems to be a bit, yeah, daughter, a bit elastic, but not a lot, just a tiny bit elastic and quite thick and uh, quite tough. So. That will be interesting. And as you can see, I think it has, yeah, it has a piece of really thick metal in here, which is uh, hold, held in place with screws. But is, this is all assembled. So what we need to be assembling is this thing is as we are shown here. So let's open them up. Okay, so I found only the um, pieces of metal that had this on it, both for one side on, and for the other, but I couldn't find these ones. And uh, yeah, here they are. So let's get them out. When putting this together, make sure you have the holes in the same alignment. So the holes can look like this, countersunk or flat. So when you take one of these pieces and one of these ones with uh, this here, make sure they are on the same side. And we need to search for the screws that have uh, a round head to them. That's a bit uh, hard to do. We are searching for these screws. Or they could actually be in a completely different... No, only the nuts are here. So the screws should be in here. Hmm, be back in a sec. Oh, actually I did find one, finally. So I need this and I need a nut. <laughs> this is what we need to do. And we need to make sure the nut remains on the same side with this so the nut up top screw from beneath and you can see blue in there the loctite so this screw doesn't come loose by itself let's tighten it with these tools you can tighten this as much as you want because the nut and the screw length are chosen in such a way that it will not cramp this to together so it will not move it is moving so, kind of hard to show you to one hand, but it is moving, so it's perfect. Let's do the same on the other one and continue. This is where the second person comes in. You need to take these two things and hold them upright until you install one of these three metal rods at uh, the end of it, then another one closer to the middle and make sure the hole, this one right here, is down. So let's do that with the short screws, both of them. So I will be doing these two steps now. This step is done. We are beginning to have uh, a bed frame in here. Next, we need this end to attach somewhere in here, like this. They show us how to do it. It should be somehow on the inside with this type of uh, screw. Uh, washer and nut. I think this is plastic washer from what I have seen. Correction. 
two plastic nuts, one between the two pieces of metal and one before uh, this. Uh, two pieces of washer, did I, washers, did I say nuts? So like this, I just need to tighten now. Be careful here and do not over tighten like I did because the screw will cut right through the end of this nut. It's a sheet metal protection and you will cut right through it. Barely uh, touched it on this one, actually touched it a bit more than barely and actually managed to cut it a little bit on this one. So stop it, don't do that. Next step, get this particular piece of metal, put it through the uh, sleeve at the end and with two short screws attach it right in that hole while make sure you keep its holes in the top position like that. When attaching the metal bar I uh, almost tighten it on one side but it's still wiggly and it will not go through. Do not pull on this, you will bend something. Just lower it and then slowly lift it into position and then tighten it with a screw obviously. Next step, this white piece in the sleeve somewhere in the middle. So let's do that with long screws. At this step do not fully tighten these screws. As you can see I I cannot really push it to come upwards but it's, it's clearly not tightened fully. Same on the other side. Because uh, if you fully tighten them right about now, it will be extremely hard for you to do all the other steps because you are basically tightening this. So do not fully tighten these screws now. Let's go to the next step, next step with short screw. The last of these uh, round bars in this end, in these uh, holes right here. This is also done. Next step with the middle size rail right there in the middle. It needs to come in through this end right here from what I can see and uh, the bigger part this needs to be on the outside edge next to this pipe as we can see in there and uh, what screws do we use? Oh, we don't use screws? What? That's weird. Okay, I guess. So we don't use screws for those. How do they actually sit in place? Ah, only now we use screws after all of them are in place. Presumably if we start from the start to put screws, you cannot do all of them. So we will need this flap, uh, flapping in the breeze for a while until you put all of them in. So yeah, medium, long and short in there. On both sides, obviously. Starting to tighten the screws on this side. On the other one, they are quite loose, but one of them is not yet in because I need to tighten this one a bit more to align the hole. And just wanted to mention, all of these holes are basically cauterized. They are heated when they are cut, so it will not start to fray in here. Make sure you do not catch uh, the material between the metal parts. That would be bad. Everything is tight all around. I just need to get rid of those little pieces from the holes. Tight as a drum. And it will not scratch your floor because it has plastic protections on the feet. So now uh, at this point, let me put uh, on it, uh, let me try and zoom out a bit for you. Put on it uh, the, uh, how do you call it, the mattress, yes. If you ever need it, this is the code for the mattress and this is the size of it. Of course, you can put on top of this any mattress that you want, camera. Let me try and zoom out. So this is the side that goes at the feet. Impossible to do with one hand, but almost. -na -na -na. Another IKEA product which will be in the description. And at this point just put this edge over 
this on both sides. I assumed that this is the end with the feet, but I think this actually comes up when you sit on it. This might be the back and this might be the area where you directly uh, sit on it. So this could be your feet and this where you put your head. Because, hmm, let me try and show you underneath. Here you don't have any, as much as you press on it, there's no chance to reach this. In here you have something a bit higher. So if you are really heavy on this area, maybe somehow you could end up hitting metal. So I'm expecting most of your body to better be in this area than in this. I'm just guessing. And by the way, you would put it at the wall. You don't rotate it when you uh, open it up. We did a test and um, laid down on it for a while. For me, it's on the stiff side, but uh, I could sleep on it. No issues. Yes, not uh, the whole time, every day, every single day. But uh, for a few days, uh, if needed, no problem. My wife, uh, for her, it's, uh, it's really hard. I think there's a joke in there somewhere. Not going, going to comment on that. Uh, so she wouldn't like to sleep on something like this. But yeah, in case you need it, whatever. It's good. It's good. You can put something uh, on top of it, uh, an extra layer. You can buy something like that quite cheaply and make it a bit softer. But again, some prefer uh, mattress that is really hard, but it's not about the mattress that much. It's what can, can you get it? It's not even an inch or maybe an inch. Uh, the springiness mostly comes from this, but even this has a, a limit to how springy it can be before it starts to permanently deform. So uh, that's why it's on the stiffer side. But again, for me, I don't think it's an issue. Now let's get this off and try to make it uh, so that we can sit on it. I'm not going to be able to film this, but basically you lift the head area and then come with the feet area on top of it. So the head area goes through this space right here. And then it stays like this and you can come with the mattress on top. There's a nice locking mechanism in here for the head area so it cannot uh, release by itself so your head goes down uh, during the night when it's pushed in it cannot release if you need to release it you need to somehow pull it a little bit it goes up and it kind of you can hear it locks in place and now i need to come with the, that part on top of it and it's something like this let me see if i can hold it with my leg somehow okay and now where you sit, you have one layer, two layers, two layers and the third layer. So three layers of material you can sit on this thing without issues. That's kind of nice. Let's put it against the wall. And here it is against the wall. And now let's put the mattress on it as uh, IKEA shows us to. Fold it in two. And again with that top area. Uh, I'm guessing this top area, we go over that. And this is the seating arrangement. Let me test it and get back to you on how I like it or not. Hopefully I do. After a quick test, my first impression is that uh, you might need some pillows to find a comfortable position for a longer time because this is really, really long and that is quite short. The problem is uh, you need to stay nice on the back of it. You need to have your butt far up there, but then your knees are around here. So you cannot have your feet dangling. It's yeah, weird-ish. You can lean back, but then you need a pillow to support the uh, your lumbar area. So... Yeah, it's a trade-off. It's, it's, yeah, kind of doesn't occupy that much, much space. It's kind of light. You can move it around, but it's not perfect, neither for sleeping, neither for sitting it. In. But it's good enough. So, hmm, 
yeah i'll get back for the end of the this video in a while after we use it a bunch of times and see how we like it so we've been using this for a while as you might be able to see from some glitter that's on it from our daughter's uh, toys it's not comfortable to sit on it we are using these pillows that we had uh, from something else leftovers they help a bit but you might need something a bit bigger to sit comfortable on it and for sleeping uh, you can do it but not over long periods of time don't think months or something like that because it will get annoying if you don't uh, buy something else to help you a bit uh, with some cushioning so yeah that's about it it's uh, light it's cheap but it's not perfect either for sleeping or sitting on it that's our take on it so hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out uh, my other videos and see you in the next one and i want to mention put some protection behind it because it has a tendency to slip around quite easily the plastic is not some kind of rubber that sticks it's just a plastic and if you bump it it will go in, uh, into the wall so yeah that's about it bye